mean it never will be. Isn't that surprising? I mean, you're in a sport where it's, it's as diverse as football, where you have players of all ethnicities and backgrounds. And I mean, I mean, yeah, it is a surprise to me, but the thing is I'm not – no one's – no one, I don't, know, I don't know, like no one's immune from that. I mean, it's everywhere sometimes, but I think uh, on a football team, you get a whole bunch of people from different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different lifestyles, and not everybody's going to agree, but I think at the end of the day, for the better, for the betterment of the team, you got to keep that kind of stuff to yourself. And when it comes out on the field, like play field like that, I feel like it just kind of gives you a window into who this person may really be. And I mean, it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's very unfortunate, but because I know, that's probably not the way their parents raised them, and it's something that was learned. Um, but it's unfortunate that they carried on to the playing field. I mean, everyone's out there competing. No one's. I'm not going to come after you with racial slurs. I don't expect you to come after me with racial slurs either. Was it something that happened throughout? Or early? No, no, it happened early on, and I was. I mean, I was kind of taken aback by it. But I mean, I mean, it helped me get a little more fired up. I mean, I'm not saying that I wasn't ready for the game, but I mean, it did add a little more. There's a little more at stake for this game. Did uh, any of it of his teammates hear it? Or? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I would hope not, yeah. just because I mean, actually, no. I take that back. I do hope mm -hmm. some of his teammates would, because you know, you got, you got to be aware of those kind of people and the kind of people that you are dealing with. Um, maybe their teammates did hear it, chose to ignore it. Some people. That's how some people decide to choose to deal with some of the issues that we have today. You just decide to push the background, ignore it, but. I mean, at some point, you've got to, you know, take those things head on and address the situations, address the problems at hand. Offensive lineman? I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to get into that. Okay. So, oh, I, mean, I was just going to say, why do you feel it, it's important now to say something? Uh, sometimes this is uh, people can just uh, wipe it under the rug, but you obviously feel very important about it. Um, I feel like when it's that up front and that blatant, then. If you are to just completely ignore it, then you're a coward, in my opinion. When someone comes at you personally like that and decides to attack you, I mean, it's easy to say, I don't want to get conf confrontational and kind of ignore it, but that's not just an attack on me. It's an attack on everyone else that is of my ethnicity. Uh, so I think you can't just ignore that kind of stuff. I mean, there's not, there's not a whole lot that maybe I can do right then, but... If I'm going to let him know, hey, that's not okay, that's not right, that's not the way your parents raised you, then that's the most I could do in that moment. In that moment, I felt like that was enough. What was being I'm not going to. I'm not going to get into that. Do you have any, any examples? No, I'm not going to get into that. Okay. Was it, or I'm sorry, I jumped in late and I apologize, but was it something early in the game? Oh, yeah, it was early on. It must have been shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Upsetting. Yeah. More than shocking. Did your, did your teammates know or hear it? No, I mean, I didn't tell any, I didn't bother telling any of my teammates. It wasn't something. Later on, I did tell a couple guys, but at that point, I tried to let myself calm down first and try to move on from there because we didn't have a game to play, and you can't let your emotions get the best of you in the game in the game of football. And it definitely was a racial slur. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and then you, you mentioned karma. Yeah. Yeah. So it seemed like that that's your reward to some extent, the way you guys play, the way you beat them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to put it all on karma. Obviously, we went out there, we did the work. Um, but it, like you said earlier, it just makes it that much smoother. Right. Then, uh, kind of going off of that, at the end of the game, I believe I saw you and Julio walking off yeah. hand in hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was that any sign of solidarity? Um, that was Coach Morgan's idea. Okay. Um, he's a really uh, sentimental guy, and he's really all about that. And he, that's what he wanted for us to. We came in as freshmen together, and he wanted us to be able to leave leave Kinnick, the field on Kinnick together. So I'm happy we got the chance to do that. And it's really, it was a really special moment for us. It looked like, I mean, 